So the last phase of this project of making our home more efficient is we've replaced our typical hot water heater with a solar hot water heater. And in this hot water heater, what you have, other than just your standard water heater piece, you have a uh, thermal expansion pipe, which if you have any wells, um, it allows pressure to build up without overpressurizing your joints. You have a thermal mixing valve, so that prevents you from scolding. You can set the, the temperature just like on your normal hot water heater. You can set the max temperature. You have a controller, which shows you that you have power for one. Um... There's a another option on the controller that allows you to pull power from the electricity uh, from the utility if you want. Uh, if you if you know you're having a super cloudy week or rainy or something like that and it's not hot enough, and then you have another light on it that prevents you know that shows you that it's freezing outside. Another item on this uh, hot water heater is the recirc pump. The recirc pump does draw electricity. Uh, there's really no way around that uh, unless you install some sort of battery or some way to power the uh, pump itself. And what that pump does is it actually pumps water up to the panel. And um, because, you know, water's heavy and it's going to try to uh, weigh itself down, uh, you get a lot of resistance, which allows the water to flow slower through the panel, which allows it to heat up faster. So in addition to just water pressure, pushing water through, this pump helps to circulate it faster than just your standard house water pressure. Now you will notice the two lines going up through the attic. Um, I'm still using my same cold water line that comes in normally through the house. They've added two more lines, one output and one input. They're the blue and the red handled uh, piping. They had to drill through the attic you know through the ceiling just like the attic fans and run two lines specifically for this hot water heater down to the hot water heater and up to the panel and back in order to recirculate so there is some minor construction going on when you are putting these in but they are absolutely sure to put enough flashing and tar and other you know sealants um on your roof to prevent leakage of you know, anytime in the near future. Now, once we're on the attic, that's where all the magic happens. This panel is very efficient. Um, you put it in the sunlight. Uh, I would have preferred a different spot on my roof, but I have these giant oak trees and pine trees blocking it. So we opted for this side and we just angled the uh, panel up a little bit versus having it laying flush on the roof. But the water will flow into this, be superheated by this glass, which uh, redirects all the all the rays and um, pushed right back down into my water heater. And I won't be using electricity to heat my water anymore. Now, I'm hoping that this will save anywhere from 80 to to $100 off of our utility utility bill just by removing our hot water tank. As always, make sure that you do your homework and you find out a solution.